What? Turn around and look up. Oh, oh no. That's what's up, man. Welcome to Newark. The local time is 3.53 p.m. Please keep your seatbelts on. Our pilots will turn off the seatbelt sign up safe to get up. We look forward to seeing you again soon. Thank you. I've been collecting sneakers for over 15 years now and I remember back in high school when people used to tell me you can only do this for so long this is a cool little hobby but one day you're gonna have to get a real job and I would always tell people about my dreams about how I wanted to open up a sneaker store not that many people really believed in it one thing that I always heard a lot was you'll never be able to make a living off of sneakers but by the time I got to college, I was running a six-figure business as a freshman and people started to ask more questions, but still at the end of the day, they didn't believe that it would last. One thing that I can say is my family believed in me and supported me throughout the entire process. No matter what other people said, they always had my back. And I truly can't even begin to tell you how much that means to me because honestly, without them, we probably wouldn't even be taking this trip today. I currently have about five to 600 pairs of shoes in my collection, and it ranges from a bunch of different models, colors, eras, you name it. I love collecting exclusive sneakers and also your everyday sneakers as well. Anybody who knows me knows that I'm a huge fan for Jordans and my Nike collection is pretty strong too. So you'll typically see me making a lot of content when it comes to Nikes and Jordans on my channel or any of my social platforms. This is my fourth year on YouTube and I tell a lot of people I plan to do this video stuff for a long time, just like I do with my sneakers. And it's crazy to even think years ago when I started my business, I also picked up the camera and I learned how to take photos for the website and different things, but I really got into videos. I just didn't really know what I was doing. I get goosebumps sometimes just thinking about how the journey started and where I'm at today. All right, so the shoe's retailing for 160, you know. We're planning for it to go for like 450, so this is gonna be a good release. So what are y'all about to do with the pairs? If I get one, I'm keeping them. If I get two, they're gone. You're the Rabbit Sevens. Crazy, crazy shoot. Check them out real quick. That's not one, not two, not three, four pair. And we got more on the way. My name is DJ Willingham, and I'm in the sneaker consulting and content business. I focus heavily on educating young sneakerheads, and I always like to entertain the established sneakerheads as well. My first job was when I was 15, when I worked for my family restaurant. Every single time I got a check, I was figuring out which new pair of shoes I could buy for my collection. But everything changed going into my senior year. I ended up getting fired from my dad, and that was one of the lessons that I had learned early in life. I would never work for anybody else but myself. Everything's good on the size 12 swap. Got you uh, 13 of the ones, the fours. I'm sorry, ones, fives, and sixes. Also. One, fives, and okay. sixes. We already got the fours locked in. Dope. Okay. okay. You know, you, you asked for it, we delivered. <laughs> I appreciate it, bro. Um, yeah, if you could just ship it to my house, that would be clutch. By the time I get back home, it should be there probably the same day. All right, just let me know whenever uh, you're leaving and we'll organize that out to you. All right, bro. Yeah, I'll shoot you a text after dinner. All right, for sure. Stay up, bro. All right, yeah, have a good night. So I got the sixes, the ones, and the fives, the Oklahoma University ones. Mm -hmm. I just got those um, from Untied, so they're gonna be shipping them to the house. Oh, dope. By the time I get back, you don't even wanna know how much I got them for. I know you. <laughs> <laughs> when COVID came in 2020, that was the first full year that I decided to take YouTube and social media more seriously. And honestly, I saw some great results. But most importantly, I found out that the videos that I was creating were really helping people get through their day-to-day -day lives and take a break and a step away from what they had going on and come and learn and laugh through sneakers and content. And I realized not only were my videos fun and cool to watch, but people actually really appreciated them. And I saw a bigger impact that it had when it came to the sneakerhead community. And that's something that influenced me to wanna to grow my audience even more simply because I had a great time connecting with the audience and I knew that they were learning a lot along the way. What was the big break in the sneaker business? I remember back in like 2011 when I was dropping my website and everything was going on. Within the first six months, I ended up becoming featured on the top 20 websites 
for sneaker resale stores online. So now at this point, I'm competing with the big dogs and everybody knew who I was. Soon as that article came out, all my inventory was selling out and I vividly remember that time with the tear of joy, just knowing how much all this hard work had been paying off and remembering all the people that were telling me, this is impossible, you can't make any money from this. So what did that do? It made me want to go even harder. I was in college playing football at the same time and running a business and going to class, but I guarantee you, I was at all the events, flying around the nation, VIP parties, you name it, exclusive events. I was there, I was invited, and I had a great time throughout that entire journey, but I was never really documenting the process and showing people. Everybody that knew, they knew, but besides that, I didn't really have the whole video content creation thing in mind because back then it wasn't really a thing. By the time I turned 21, I started to understand the power of real estate as I was looking for a place to open a store. But at the same time, I realized I couldn't own the building and that's what I wanted to do. Everybody who knows me knows I'm not really the guy for renting or leasing or anything like that. I like to own everything and say that it's mine. So because that wasn't really working out, I started to sink my teeth into single family homes and figure out how that worked with creative finance and other ways to get into properties. And being that I was so young and able to comprehend real estate and use that same lingo to then compare it to sneakers, it caught a lot of people off guard, but that was okay because it ended up opening a lot more people's eyes in my circle when it came to my friends and family. So the people that truly know me understand that it all started with a single pair of shoes and having a dream and that got me into multiple properties with cash flow and different things like that. And it's funny to say, but people actually do consider me to be one of the sneaker goats. I know, I'm not the one that claimed it. I'm just another dude that likes shoes. Is this a business that you think will truly last? Honestly, I can say I think that the content business and everything around that, especially not only just sneakers, but content alone, is going to be a huge market and it's gonna to continue to grow. And as you continue to build a great audience with people that truly know you and you tell your truths, they're gonna support you and rock with you no matter what. And as your audience continues to grow, trust me, it's gonna be hard to fail. All right, so we just stopped. What should I say again? Just keep it rolling. Is it wrong? Okay. So we're out here at Legacy right now in New York, and we just got done shooting a video, but look what they got. Gold OVO 11s. These things are crazy. Super expensive shoe right here. Insane. We just got done running through the entire collection at the store. My guy P, he got some crazy heat. Some more crazy stuff in here. <sighs> I'm excited to show you guys. <sighs> Today is a big day. It's like game day all over again. It's crazy. We just talking about how far you came, you know, from the Roseland show to yeah. coming out here, you know? He was there for me too. Yeah. Y'all been there for me before everybody else and still here today. That's what's up, waiting in lines and leaving outside and everything. <laughs> all that. Yeah. Watching me where you don't have to do that no more. Dope. <laughs> Yep. Now they just send you the shoes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That part. There's people want to do stuff, whatever, but they're never going to insert themselves. They're never really going to try. Thank you, sir. Thank they're you. never really going to try to make it work. They're going to sit at home and complain and complain. And you, I mean, you, same thing. When you started, you weren't making no money. I was spending a lot of money. You were spending <laughs> a lot of money building a business, but yeah. you stayed with the business. Yeah. And you took the business mindset that I'm not going to make money my first year. Right. Whereas a lot of people like, oh, this ain't working six months, I quit. Right. Because the business mindset doesn't say you're going to just come out, you're going to come out and start making dough. Mm -hmm. you got to trial, error, trial, error, trial. And build it, build a brand, build a name, yeah. build a look. Yeah, perfect timing. And so yeah, that's, that's, that's your coffee. That's a big difference. So you got your coffee? Yeah. Or whatever it's called, matcha? Matcha. Nah, yeah, for sure. Lo and behold, I was with my friend Eric out in LA. We were shooting a podcast for his creator podcast for Carrot. And we were talking about the different creators that had been featured on the billboards, but I had never really been featured on one before. So I was like, maybe I could shoot my shot and see what he says. If he says no, he says no. But if he says yes, could be an opportunity of a lifetime.
And after he had learned more about me and things from my past and trials and tribulations that I had over the years, he was instantly like, it's a no brainer, we gotta get you on the billboard. And honestly, I was kind of shocked because I just haven't been around the YouTube space for that long. You know, I'm getting coming into my fourth year now and there's a lot of huge established creators that have been in the game for about 10 years now that get featured on that billboard. So for me to get the opportunity, like I said, major blessing. We got sale laces right here. And then we got the shoes. Oh, we got the shoes. I'll show you guys when we get back home. I've been putting my work in. I've been out here networking, I've been grinding, I've been meeting the right people, doing the right things, staying true to myself and trying to be as best as I can each and every day through these videos. So for me, I get that as well and I understand why I got this opportunity. We got some shoes, we did some shopping. Now we gotta get changed for tonight. Show time, go time, it's like it's game day. So gonna eat a little bit and then uh, get ready to go see the billboard. Before we go over there, we got to show the world who the Willingham fam is. Right. All right. I don't know who ever done a billboard before, but no, hopefully I'm the first one in the family. <laughs> yeah. right. Okay. So we got to go out. We got to show out. We got to represent. We dress good. We look good. We feel good. Right. Now it's time to play good. Let's play All good. All right. Let's go get this. Let's go get it. Let's get it. As we're walking to the billboard, I have a bunch of emotions just flowing through my mind and just so thankful for the opportunity and the fact that I get to do this with my family and they get to be here for me because they've been here for me throughout this entire journey, helping me, supporting me, and it just means so much. I didn't wanna fly all the way out here to just do this by myself. So it's, it's just honestly amazing, but at the same time, I'm still kind of worried. I'm kind of worried because I don't want us to have to fly all the way out here. We walk to the billboard and next thing you know, the picture doesn't pop up and there's some type of malfunction or we arrived on the wrong day. Anything could happen. Remember last time we was here, I made that video. I was like, next time we come out here, I'm going to be on a billboard. Yeah, yeah. Said that. And I was like, how many months ago? Six, eight months ago? Last summer? Six months ago, seven months ago. We out here now. The time is coming. We made it. We've been working. Big lights. We've been working. Well, you've done the most work. We've been bad. Uh... Supporting characters. Supporting cast. All right. We've been bad boys. Let's go check out the billboard. All right, let's I haven't seen it yet either. Y'all ready? All right, let's go. This moment was filled with emotion. We got to take time out of our day-to-day -day lives and go out here and celebrate and take a moment to just appreciate ourselves and each other around us and having family. And again, I am very thankful for not only just my family, but everybody that has supported on the channel, all my friends, everybody that's believed in me along this process. Because yes, we have a lot of people that have said that they don't think it can be sustainable and all those other things. But at the end of the day, Family and friends, those are the people that mean the most to me and why I continue to do this each and every day and have fun doing it at the same time. So I'm definitely grateful to be able to share this moment with my family and see them smile and enjoy this just as much as I do. So now I can finally say, mama, we made it. <laughs> now I'm just playing. We got more work to do. Yo, before you go, I just launched my Sneakerhead Academy where we got everything on the inside. I teach you all the stuff that I learned over the past 15 years when it comes to sneakers, scaling, real estate, you name it. We talk about all of it in there. And there's an eight week program plus a bunch of monthly giveaways. I give away shoes literally way too much, honestly. But either way, I'll see you guys on the inside. Hit the link down below in my description or pinned in the comment section for DJ Sneakerhead Academy. And I'll see you guys over there. Caught outside, we had to come and get warm. 
but it's okay because we about to make a storm. When we get back outside, we interviewing, go on here to TikTok, do a little YouTubing.